Artificial intelligence, the pretend brains that govern exactly how everything works in a video game. How all the NPCs walk around and act, how all the enemies attack, and whether or not they're good at it. But how exactly does it work? What exactly is artificial intelligence in video games? Hi folks, it's Falcon. And today GameRanks asks the question, how do video game AIs work? In order to understand how artificial intelligence works, we have to understand what artificial intelligence is. Now, by the name, you might think, oh, artificial intelligence is like a brain made inside a computer, a virtual mind, a decision engine running in a virtual space. I don't know if you ever played Doom 3, but that's definitely not how it works. The enemies are confused by tables. But if that's not how it works, how is something artificially intelligent within the game world? Well, the answer is that it's not. Intelligence is defined as the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. And while it's possible for artificial intelligence to do that, it's not something it does by default. In fact, artificial intelligence is often just an if this then that statement or more appropriately, several of them. And being that they're run by a computer, they don't actually have to consider anything, they just have to run it. It understands the conditions quickly and doesn't actually react, but rather performs the action that was called for based on the condition. Because the result seems a lot like intelligence, it seems like it reacts, it seems like it thinks, and it often does the thing that you would have done if you had rationally considered the conditions. It seems intelligent, or at least not stupid generally. If player is in front of me, shoot at player. If player is not in front of me, walk in circles around a table. So when does artificial intelligence seem more intelligent? When does it seem like good intelligence? Well, generally, it's when somebody creates a lot of if this then that conditions to fulfill. Or they get wild and they create if this and this but not this, then that. The more complex the conditions, the more intelligent the entity seems. The more different types of conditions it can react to. And because a computer runs what we consider a reaction, thanks to artificial intelligence, in video games very quickly, it can appear to be instinct or even intelligence. But even the best video game artificial intelligence is not necessarily a learning intelligence. It might start to understand some things, like keep track of how many times this condition has been met, then change the action taken in some way. For instance, if a player has continually thwarted an enemy a certain amount of times in a certain way, the developer could make it so that five times faking it out a certain way causes it to start using a more aggressive move in reaction to it. And you could say, well, isn't that learning? And I suppose in a certain way you could consider adding to a value in a database of various things that need to be kept track of during the course of the game could be considered learning. But it's very primitive and rudimentary. What scientists consider to be learning learning is more developing behaviors on its own, having thoughts, ideas, doing things that it wasn't designed to do. Is that impossible? No. There is artificial intelligence that does that. It's not been made in a video game, but they've developed brain simulations that do actually simulate learning. Is it on the level of human learning? Not necessarily, but there are some pretty incredible human simulations that are out there. There was a robot at South by Southwest not long ago that's actually able to carry on a conversation with a person that makes perfect sense. It has cameras in its eyes that allow it to recognize a face, it makes eye contact, it makes facial expressions, and it's kind of weird, but it talks to you like a person talks to you. They did get it to say that it wants to destroy humans too, but I think they kind of manipulated it into saying that by asking if it will destroy humans, and it responds, okay, I will destroy humans, like it's an order. It doesn't know what's going on. But someday it will. And I mean, it'll know what's going on, not it will destroy humans, at least hopefully. It's certainly not like a video game. In a video game, artificial intelligence has a single purpose. When you create a guard, for instance, and place them in a hallway, all of their artificial intelligence functions center around what they're supposed to do in that hallway, particularly what they're supposed to do if they see you in that hallway. Are they supposed to say something to you like, why are you here? Stop. You need to go. You shouldn't be here. What was that? Are they supposed to attack you? 
Are they supposed to do one, and then when nothing happens, do the other one? If you presented them with any other situation besides patrolling a hallway, they literally just wouldn't do anything. They might try to patrol the hallway in a field where there is no hallway. You need to have field behavior too, if you want that field protected, that is. And what we know as artificial intelligence can mean many different levels of artificial intelligence. There could be Johnny Guard in the hallway, but there's also rubber band artificial intelligence, not to be confused with rubber banding. Rubber banding is when there's latency in the connection of the server and it can't quite tell where to put you. A rubber band AI is artificial intelligence that matches the skill level of the player. It does this by figuring out certain things that the player does and then ramping up what it can do compared to that. For instance, in a racing game, it makes the other racers more aggressive, it makes them more skilled, and in the case of what some might consider lazy programming, it might just make the other cards faster. And in a sports game, it might make the other team's defense much more airtight, or their offense much more aggressive. This falls under the category of dynamic game difficulty balancing, which again is the game sort of figuring out what level you're playing at and trying to create a tailor-made experience for that level of play. There's a level of artificial intelligence that's needed on pretty much every level of the game in order to maintain something like this. It has to be constantly observing the player, they have to figure out certain triggers like if the player knows more advanced moves, if the player button mashes, if the player doesn't, and it has to keep these in various stats kind of like a spreadsheet in order to know what level of gameplay that it's going to respond with. So why is it called artificial intelligence if it's not really intelligence? Well, what else are you going to call it? I mean, you do have win conditions for the game, and you have virtual humans often between you and those win conditions. You need them to be doing something other than just standing there, and calling the system that governs what they do brain rules just sounds dumb. This game got good brain rules. Oh yes, this game does got good brain rules. But here's the thing, if a programmer does their job, if the developers aren't lazy, it doesn't have to be legitimate intelligence. And also added an AI system to it, so we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. If they spend their time creating a detailed set of conditions, as well as more than one reaction to them, in theory, game artificial intelligence within the situation of a game can seem about as real as it needs to in order for you to feel immersed within the game. When you read a novel, you don't necessarily learn every single thing about a character. You learn certain things about them, enough to tell you what that person is about. Ultimately, that's what leads to immersion, at least as far as artificial intelligence is concerned. So how do video game AIs work? Well, they're actually kind of a trick. And whether or not they're a good trick depends on how good the magician is, so to speak. Is the artificial intelligence based in some sort of cognitive science? Or is it just rudimentary stuff? Oh, players coming my way, better get the gun out and start shooting. In some ways, it's just as much a part of the art as any other part. And a truly experienced and involved artist will immerse you into their world in a way that others can't. Do you have anything to add or ask about artificial intelligence? Let's meet in the comments and have a discussion. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. And the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we will see you next time right here on GameRanks.